Today I'll be starting my first series called Wildlock, a Wilderness Locked Iron Man account. So here's probably where I spent the first three hours of my account was fishing shrimp and then anchovies to level 35, which then I can catch tuna at 35, lobster at 40, and from there I can catch swordfish. Swordfish are the highest fishable fish in the wilderness that I can also then cook. I did start this account as a hardcore Iron Man, but I wound up getting super unlucky at a flash event while I was still around 20 combat. I wound up getting one hit by a revenant dragon and I lost my status, but I'm going to continue the series on as a regular Iron Man anyway. My main ways of training prayer in this account are doing the Lost Souls Wilderness Flash event, which awards prayer experience. I can also get bones and infernal ashes from Wildy Sacks. Uh, then I can use that to train prayer as well. I can gather big bones from the boneyard to use on the wilderness altar. Uh, but those are my main methods other than getting bones from mobs. I spent a lot of early hours on this account training at the rats at the edge. There's not a lot of low level mobs in the wilderness. Um, once I moved on from these then I was able to then move on to bears and thugs which thankfully drop herblore ingredients. Um, as well as the zombies that I moved on to around 45 combat. Those drop a lot of herbs as well, as well as Eye of Newts. This is probably the most important Wilderness Flash event I can do. It's one of the three tier events, which awards a big Wildy Sack of rewards. This is my only opportunity besides Penguin Agents to roll on the clue drop tables, as I cannot do clue scrolls in the Wilderness. There are also a number of other useful rewards, such as the tier 87 degradable weapons, which are going to be huge if I get one. And some other important items that I can get from here are the brawling gloves, which will help me train skills faster. And a huge one is the portable obelisk, being that I can teleport to obelisks as much as I want. The main methods for training divination are of course cursed wisps in the wilderness crater. Uh, I can use them to convert into any type of energy, but I also have the Divination Flash event to gain Divination experience. These are my two main methods for training Divination. So here's where that rope that was in my starter kit is going to come into play. The only way I can train Hunter is to do Wilderness Flash events until I hit level 67, and then I need to net trap Black Salamanders, which requires me to have a rope. And there's not really a way to obtain a rope in the Wilderness. So a cool little note is the world that I wound up picking wound up being the world that Zezima comes out and helps out at these events. So that's kind of a cool thing I got to experience. Uh, but I kind of wanted to use this first video as a sort of introduction to the series where I show you some of the issues that I encounter. And I wanted to show you some of the things that I've been doing on the account daily. From here on I plan to move forward with a more direct experience showcasing specific goals I'm trying to reach and reacting in more real time. I'm really excited to share more of this experience with everyone and hope you'll stick around with me on this journey on my wild locked Iron Man. Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss the next episode and leave a comment letting me know what you think or any ideas you have for me or the series. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode.